Hey, welcome to another YouTube video. <laughs> welcome to my channel. My name is Rob Balasabis. Glad that you're here uh, in this YouTube channel. Uh, we talk all about creator revenue, creator economy, um, tutorials and things like that around being a better creator. But really, we're focusing a lot on uh, creator revenue and uh, how you can build multiple revenue streams and really dive in into those topics. And so uh, today I got a really good question. I'm gonna share my screen here because a little while ago, I hit this really awesome milestone on my YouTube channel, 800,000 views, which is fantastic. I shared this on LinkedIn and I invited other uh, folks that, uh, you know, friends of mine that are in my circle and connected with me on LinkedIn to uh, invite them to ask me some questions that I can answer. and. Got a really good question here from Liam Gardner. Uh, Liam Gardner, I'm gonna, I'm actually gonna focus in on this because this is a really good question, and so I'm gonna, I picked it to answer today. And so his question is awesome effort, Rob. <laughs> I love that he said effort because effort, that's really what it takes. You just gotta put effort in on a daily basis to create content and to grow your, uh, your channel. Effort is a really good word that he picked there. Um, and so he says, awesome effort, Rob. Um, how has being a creator helped build a career? This is a really good question. I don't, I don't get to talk about this question too often or this topic too often, but I kind of live in this weird sort of place where half of me is a content creator. Half of my, you know, part of me is a content creator, right? Naturally, I create content on a regular basis, but really that is an opportunity that came about when I first got into SaaS, into software marketing, right? Software as a service. I got to doing that and um, I started to buy, not by force, but really not by choice. It was just a matter of like, it had to be done. I started becoming the person that did create the content and I was in front of the camera. Um, and so this is going back uh, a few years now uh, when I was working at Thinkific. And so when I was working at Thinkific, I was a social media manager there. I became this, the community manager as well. And somebody had to get in front of the camera and do collaborations with influencers and partners. And so naturally that kind of fell on my lap. And I didn't really enjoy being a creator. I didn't really want to be, I didn't strive to be, I didn't really desire to be a content creator as we define it today. Um, I didn't have a YouTube channel, nothing like that. I had maybe an Instagram account because I wanted to show some pictures of, you know, share pictures of uh, my family, you know, as they, were, as, as they were growing up and stuff with relatives and friends around the world. So I didn't have a YouTube channel. I didn't really have, I wasn't active on uh, Instagram. I wasn't active on LinkedIn for sure. And so I wasn't really a content creator, but I started becoming a content creator, started really embracing this content creation thing. And I noticed that, you know, A, I had a lot of fun doing it. I, I learned that I really enjoyed um, the collaborative uh, aspect of content creation and, um, you know, connecting with other content creators. I like those conversations. And so I really enjoyed it. Second, I really saw that it opened a lot of doors for uh, the brands that I got to work with. before, Right after Thinkific, I worked at TubeBuddy. Amazing, amazing tool um, and uh, awesome team at the time to, you know, that, that uh, was a TubeBuddy. And um, obviously I was also in front of the camera. I was doing workshops. I was doing interviews. I was uh, hosting the podcast and the live show. And so I was like really, at that point, I was all in. I really enjoyed content creation. Just started to open doors. And uh, I got to also the third part about being a content creator is that specifically in the industry that I'm in, the line of work that I'm in, head of partnerships, I work with a lot of influencers, a lot of content creators as well. And so it's really good to then be a content creator myself and understand how they see things, right? And how they see the creator economy, how they see their business, how they see the platforms and understanding their pain points, right? I am, I, I, I try to make sure that I, uh, I wanna make sure I get the, the saying right. I wanna make sure that I am, uh, you know, practicing what I preach, right? And so I wanna make sure that like, hey, we're talking about building multiple revenue streams. I understand that. I have done, done that myself. I do that myself at the moment on my personal channel. 
I, uh, you know, one of the things that, you know, content creators need to do is build an audience. I am doing that. I have done that. I have a YouTube channel and uh, I understand the process of building content, being consistent, editing, optimizing your content, you know, looking at, you know, uh, freelancers to, um, you know, uh, you know, get work done in terms of like, you know, designing thumbnails and editing and all of those things. And so there's so many aspects to, to that. And fortunately, just the, 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 you know, opportunities that I've had are in the creator economy with brands and companies within the creator economy. And so being a content creator myself has been such an advantage, I guess is the word. It's just been such a, an advantage for me. Um, and it's made my work much easier and much more enjoyable and also has opened a, a lot of doors for me that I didn't even realize was there when I first hopped on a live stream years ago and I didn't realize that this would be the journey and this would be the the path that I would eventually lead down in and I'm still on that path I'm still walking sprinting down that path at the moment and I'm really enjoying every minute of it to be honest um, it's just opened up so many doors for me and I think as we go on there's going to be more and more opportunities for content creators within companies within brands brands are going going to want to have their own in-house content creator their own in-house uh, person that's active in the creator economy especially you know whether whether it's a company that serves content creators or not you know doritos ford G general motors all of these brands they're going to want to have content creators uh, because that's just where the attention is, right? The attention is on social media, it's on YouTube, it's on TikTok, Instagram, uh, LinkedIn, right? Um, even professionals need to understand how to be content creators. And so, um, again, great question, great question. I would love to answer any, any other questions around this, but this is just such a really good question. I really appreciate my friend Liam Gardner for uh, sharing this question because um, it's a good one. It's a really important one. And a lot of people don't really think about it as a content creator, if there's opportunities inside of brands. And also if you're working as a, let's just say marketing, if you're working in marketing um, for a brand, start thinking about how to become a better content creator. You're already creating content when you're on Zoom, you're already figuring out your cameras, you're already figuring out your microphones right? You're already figuring out, figuring out, I can't even talk properly. You're figuring out your lighting, right? Like right now I'm looking outside the window because that's the best type of light. I have a little light as well, but um, you're figuring out all of these things. You don't really realize it maybe, but you're already halfway there with becoming a content creator. You know, the pandemic has forced a lot of people to be creating content, uh, you know, uh, a situation, work from home situation where they have good lighting, good cameras, nice microphones, and they've invested in that. Um, and so now you're, it's just a matter of like really wrapping your head around it and sort of like saying, hey, you know what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna start a podcast or I'm gonna start being more active on LinkedIn or I'm gonna start a YouTube channel, which I find is like the most scary thing for people. And so you, I would just suggest you pick one, pick some type of content, maybe it's a podcast, Maybe it's Instagram or TikTok, right? Maybe it's YouTube. If it is, I would definitely suggest YouTube. If you can, if you want to do, go all in on YouTube, where you're sharing your knowledge, you're learning how to create content, how to build an audience, because that'll carry on wherever you go. That is your, uh, that's your, that's your content. It will carry on. And so again, uh, it's a great way to a have creative outlet for yourself if that's the type of person you are but also B, it's a great way to showcase your knowledge and your experience and your insight into your specific industry. All right, so again, my good friend, Liam Gardner, thank you so much for sharing or asking that question on LinkedIn. How has being a content creator helped to build a career? Hopefully I answered that uh, as best I can there. If you have a follow-up though, man, let me know. I would love to answer it even further and talk about that even more speak to the folks out there that are uh, looking to build their career um, and uh, whether or not content creation becomes part of that, all right? So again, thank you so much. Make sure you subscribe to this channel. 
and leave a comment say hello uh, leave a comment leave a question uh, and uh, and also if you're gonna share this if you if you want to you don't have to but if you want to share this on social on stories you know on Instagram or uh, you know Twitter or anything like that please tag me I'd love to just see it and uh, you know give you some love as well all right so again thanks for hanging out with me in this video stay tuned for the next one because uh, YouTube will suggest another one right after this and uh, they probably think it's a good fit for you all right so enjoy that one and I'll see you in the next video take care bye bye